folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today, you will be learning how to add movement to your pictures in Premiere Pro. We're talking about scale, positioning, and rotation. You can do a lot of different things with those three attributes, so why don't we get started? Here I have a bunch of pictures on the timeline. Now, I prefer to use videos because I find that they're a lot more lively, they're moving, but when you have to use pictures, we have to make do, we have to see what we can do to make it interesting. And a great way to make it interesting is to add movement to it. So why don't we get started here? We're gonna start off with this first picture. Make sure to select it on the timeline and make sure your effect controls are open. Now, if you don't see this effect controls panel, you can open it by going to windows and selecting effect control. So make sure to do that if you don't see it. Now we see a bunch of different attributes here. We have position, scale, and rotation. We're gonna start off with a simple scale in. So with the picture selected, we're going to make a keyframe at 100%. Click and drag. You can see that if you drag it to the right, it zooms in. And if you drag it to the left, it zooms out. Um, and if you want to reset it, you just hit this little button here. Because we're just going to do a casual zoom in, we're going to make a keyframe here at 100%. We're going to drag this to the left, to the very beginning of this clip. And then we're going to change this number to maybe 103, 104. This will depend on how long your clip is and how fast you want the zoom in to be. But let's start with 104 and we're gonna drag this keyframe to the end. Now let's take a watch to see what this looks like. So that's a nice subtle zoom in. I like that speed, but let's say you wanna make it faster. We drag this keyframe here and we can change it to 110. And that's a much faster zoom in. I'm just gonna undo this. Um, in general, I would opt for a more subtle movement. I find that it's cleaner. It's better for more corporate videos. Unless you're looking for a faster zoom in effect, keep it subtle. Trust me, it's the most professional way. Um, so that's a zoom in, but let's say we wanted to reverse this and make it a zoom out. You could actually switch these keyframes. So I might bring this end one to the beginning and bring this beginning one to the end, and then it'll switch the keyframes. So now it's a zoom out instead of a zoom in. So that's an easy way to do that. But other than that, just follow the same instructions I did with the zoom in. Just make sure you're starting at 104 and then you're ending at 100. Think of keyframes as just creating the start and end point of what you want your video to do. Once you set those beginning and end keyframes, the Premiere Pro software knows exactly what to do. It knows how to animate it. So all you have to do is know where you wanna start and where you wanna end. So we've covered zoom ins and zoom outs. Now, what if we wanna add a bit of a rotation to this animation? Why don't we build a zoom in movement, but we add a bit of rotation to it. Let's create these starting keyframes. So I want it to start at a rotation of two. You can see some black around the edges here. We want to get rid of that, so why don't we zoom in a bit? And let's make this our starting keyframe. So we'll make a keyframe for scale and a keyframe for rotation, and we'll bring this to the beginning. Now we need to set our end keyframe. So let's continue the rotation. So it's at two right now, let's make it four and it'll automatically make a keyframe here. And we'll zoom in a little more like this. And then we're gonna drag these keyframes to the end. So let's see what this looks like. So you'll see that it makes a little zoom in rotation movement. And again, we can switch these up. Might even look better if we switch up these keyframes. So let's bring the, these beginning keyframes to the end. And these end keyframes to the beginning. See what this looks like. So that's just an interesting way to incorporate the rotation keyframe into your movement. 
For this next picture, why don't we play around with the position settings? Let's make it go from left to right. So because we are at the full resolution of the picture, if we toggle the left and right options here, you'll see that it goes to black and up and down, it goes to black, right? We don't want to see any black. So let's reset these and we're going to zoom in a little bit before we adjust these keyframes. Okay, now, just like we've done with scale, let's adjust the position keyframe. So I'm going to start it to the left by shifting this first number to the left a bit. We're going to make a keyframe and drag that to the front. And then we're going to drag this to the right a little bit. And then we're going to drag this keyframe to the end and we're going to see what this looks like. Very nice. So that is a simple left to right pan. And again, we can switch these keyframes if we want to. We just drag, we just swap these keyframes here and it'll go right to left. The last one we're gonna cover is a nice tilt. So that's going up to down or down to up. That's what we call a tilt movement. So again, when we adjust these position keyframes, you'll see that there's black on the edges here. We don't want to see any of that. So we're going to zoom in a bit. We're going to adjust this position number and bring it up. And you can do that by sliding it to the right. So this is where I wanted to start. We're going to set a keyframe for position and we're going to drag this to the front. And then we're going to drag this down a bit and we're gonna drag this keyframe to the end and we'll see how that looks. I think that looks great. Let's say that this is too fast and you wanna cut down the time a little bit. An easy way to do that is to set a keyframe in the middle here and then delete this end keyframe and then drag this to the end. So you're just shortening the time a little bit. So that's a little more subtle, I like that. And that's pretty much it, folks. We've covered zoom ins, zoom outs, rotation, and adjusting the position to do pan and tilt movements. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a like. I would super appreciate it. And subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. If you know what kind of videos you'd like to see next, please let me know in the comments below. I always read my comments, and I'd love to know what you think. Have a great rest of your day, folks.